All right. Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. I'm Dr. Nur Iza from Minima Sarawak, Malaysia. We'll be presenting a study to validate an instrument that measures online victimization in Malaysian setting. As an introduction, adolescents spend more time online than they have ever been during the COVID-19 pandemic. This exposed them to various risks which have been associated with a wide range of negative psychological outcomes, such as depression. Although the work concerning this area is increasing, as far as our knowledge, no comprehensive scale currently available to assess multiple online risks, which include cyberbullying, unwanted sexual solicitation, and harmful content among adolescents. This results in lack of reliable tools in measuring the magnitude of the problem. Hence, you may find difficulties in addressing this issue. The purpose of this study is to examine the validity and reliability of this new instrument that measures online victimization experience among adolescents in Malaysia. The cross-sectional study was conducted from February until September 2019. This scale consists of 25 items adopted from previous studies and translated into Malay language using forward-backward translation method. Based on multi-stage cluster sampling, seven government secondary schools in Kuching, Sarawak, Malaysia were selected for the study. Only adolescents with parental consent partic participated in the study. No name was written on the questionnaire paper, but for traceability, each respondent was given a serial number according to the class name list. Sample size was calculated using the ratio 5 to 1 to meet the recommendation for exploratory factor analysis EFA and confirmatory factor analysis EFA. The survey was administered to 902 adolescents, which then subjected to EFA and CFA using IBM SPSS and AMOS. The mean of age of the participants was 15.2 years, and nearly all participants used smartphone to access the internet. The scale shows good prong bar alpha of 0.84 and high intraclass correlation of 0.92. Further analysis using EFA with principal axis factoring suggested seven factors and 25 items based on eigenvalues more than one. The total variance explains was 47.8 to 10. All items have acceptable factor loadings, but three items have cross loading issue. These three items, however, were written for CFA purposes. In CFA, it confirmed seven factors and retained 19 items to produce good model fit as shown in figure one. Six items were deleted due to low factor loading, less than 0 0.30. All 19 items retained in the final model show factor loading above 0 0.40. Based on the findings, the study shows that the scale is reliable to measure online victimization among Malaysian adolescents, thus can be used in research, clinical, and education settings. The present study contributes to an important step to more development of Malay language version of online victimization scale that is suitable to be used locally among Malaysian adolescents. I would like to thank UNIMAS and Ministry of Education for the permission to conduct this study. With that, I thank you.